Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. It's time to look at our picture of the day. This one coming in from Kim in Gretna. You know, we've had some storms at times over the past week, and Kim got a really nice view of the shelf cloud associated with one of those storms. I appreciate Kim for sharing this photo with us. And of course, you can always share your photos via the pin it feature on our weather app. You can also hit us up via, the, via email as well as social media. Do we see any kind of shelf clouds or any other kind of severe weather today? It actually could be in the cards for us. There is a severe weather risk for this afternoon and evening from the Storm Prediction Center. They basically put our entire viewing area under a level one risk. I will let you know that the highest risk for severe weather is well to our north, though, across New York as well as Pennsylvania. They are under a level three severe weather risk, uh, so make sure you are watching out for any potential st storms that do form later on today. Uh, Want to flashback to yesterday. We had a little bit of history in southwest and central Virginia in the form of some record warmth. Now we were tracking a record highs across the area. None of those have actually fallen this week, but we did have some record warm lows yesterday. So Roanoke only bottomed out at 75 degrees yesterday. Blacksburg 68 and those uh, broke the old records from 1964 as well as 1981. It actually might be even a little bit warmer outside for some of you as you're getting your Thursday started. 77 in Lynchburg, 75 Danville, Roanoke coming in 78 degrees. You can see the low 70s for Blacksburg and Hillsville. Only a couple places that have not uh, stayed in the 70s. Looks like Lewisburg and Withville down to the upper 60s. Temperatures going to be rising once again as we go through uh, your Thursday. Uh, about 80 degrees at 8 a.m. all the way up to the upper 80s by 11. We're going to be peaking around 2 or 3 o'clock with the temperatures. Uh, many of us in the 90s. It is going to be quite humid outside uh, this afternoon and you can see that on our uh, humidity levels map here. The dark greens indicating a whole lot of moisture in the mix as we're going about the day today, but we are watching this cold front out to the west. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to get here. Don't think we see the humidity levels drop too terribly far on Friday, but on the backside of this cold front, it does look like we are going to see a little bit of relief from the high humidity as we go into this upcoming weekend. I'm certainly looking forward to that. I want to give you another look at what we're tracking here. So uh, we have this heat dome that we've been talking about for quite some time still off to our southwest. That is going to be pushing to the northwest, and we are going to see this little bit of a trough to the east in between the two systems. Looks like it is going to be a nice Father's Day. Uh, your temperatures over this upcoming Father's Day weekend are only going to be in the 70s and 80s. Okay, here's the next three days in the New River Valley. You can see the chance for a little bit of isolated storm activity today. We are going to be drying out through Friday and Saturday, and the temperatures are going to be backing off as we go into the weekend. Father's Day looking really nice in the Lynchburg area, the high about 77. But uh, just as quick as we cool down, looks like we heat back up into next week. Highs back into the 90s by Tuesday in the Roanoke Valley.